<laughs> um, we need a mechanic, Lukey boy. <laughs> So don't get nervous. I don't want anybody to get nervous. Zone 2, Transit Pacific Atlantic. There she is. Pacific Ocean. The closest we've been to home in nine months. Welcome to a high octane episode of Finding Avalon, a 38 foot boat that comfortably takes two people, but we've got five this week just for shits and gigs. Yeah, I think one of our engine mounts, the actual thread of it's broken. Last week we sailed around the San Blas Islands with a bit of engine bother and some of our buddies on board. Also paid a visit to our friend Lukey Boy, who crews a 74-foot steel hold catch. The crew woke up in Puerto Lindo, all packed up and ready to head down to Shelter Bay and begin our transit through the Panama Canal. Best best radio voice. This is what we say at work. <laughs> really? Yeah, best radio voice. You're going out there. <laughs> I'll do my best. Just think about what you're gonna say. Best radio voice. Sovereign Grace, Sovereign Grace. This is Finding Avalon. Finding Avalon. Over. What's up, Zappy? <laughs> Um, we need a mechanic, Lukey boy. <laughs> I think I have one of those. <laughs> Send him over quick start, the engine won't start. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Luke. <laughs> hey mate, we're just waiting on Rich to get ready, but we'll be over shortly. Copy tar. That is your best radio voice. That's what you need to Are you say. you kidding me? <laughs> Going out there, Mitch, you've got to think about what you say. Can you give me some tips? <laughs> um, just um, don't piss off the anchorage by trying to order a pizza, basically. That's my <laughs> best tip. So if you remember the backpacker yacht Sovereign Grace from last week in the San Blas, they were anchored just behind us in Puerto Lindo. We'd heard that one of the guests they'd had on board this week knew his way around a diesel engine. What's happening, G? The zoo is going off. It's going off. And wolves. <laughs> um, so we went to a cafe just over there and um, got chatting to the, the lady who runs it and she told us that a man's got his own secret private zoo next door. It, and it's huge. You can see it over the balcony of the cafe. and um, Which naturally got, you don't. You don't believe them until you see it. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, wow. He's got macaws of every colour, wolves, yeah. monkeys of every kind, kind of um, little marmoset things, and then big orangutans. Ostriches. Ostriches. Ponies. <laughs> Ponies. And um, it's the full moon in Libra today and the spring equinox, and the zoo is going nuts. They are going ape. Um, so we've had, we've had some good... Um, Good melodies this morning while Jack's trying to start the engine. Oh, and I can see the mechanic loading into the dinghy. Help is at hand. That's not good. What have we got? I think we've got like that algae shit in the or in the diesel. Oh. I think that's what this is. Good morning. Richard from Germany kindly put his beer down for five seconds and took some time out of his holiday to help a brother out. Morning, Richard. Sorry about this. <laughs> the boat medical team's here. <laughs> medical team. 
Alright, so what's it doing? We're not doing it. Um, we found some algus, algal blooms in the um, fuel, oh. we think. Oh, do you have a filter? Do you have a yeah. fuel water separator? Uh, I'm not sure if we've got that. Jackson, do we have a fuel water separator? Oh, you don't have to monkey down. You can put the steps down and then lift them back up. Can you land underneath them? No. <laughs> well, monkey down successful. <laughs> so, I started it up yep. as per normal. Okay. It ran for probably 10 seconds. And then it choked. And then it just stopped. Yeah. The problem is now your injectors are have run dry because you suffocated the fuel system. The boys got to work cleaning the algal bloom from the diesel tank in the time before Rich had to dash off to catch his flight home. Thank you so much, mate. Sorry you're going through this. You. Sorry to do this to you on your last day of your holiday, mate. No, no, not at all. Um, it's Xanthi from the boat Finding Avalon. Um, yeah, I was just giving you a call um, because our, our transit is booked for Friday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, sorry. And um, we can't, we're in Porto Lindo and we can't start our engine. No, I, I wanted to ask you. Um, we're still trying to work on the engine this morning. We were supposed to be in Shelter Bay now for, um, at lunchtime, but we're still working on the engine. And I wanted to know that if we can't solve the problem today, what's the latest I need to let you know um, that we need to change the date of the transit? Six o'clock this afternoon. Okay, perfect. Thanks for that, Eric. Um, I'll send you an email. We now had one remaining hope to get us to Shelter Bay in time. I'm Wilson, I'm the captain of the Blue Beast. This is Wilson, and the big blue beast he's referring to is Sovereign Grace. Not a boat mechanic by trade, but an all-round boatsman by vocation. Our trip basically hinged on this guy coming up with a solution for us. Will Willie just save the day? Try pumping it again. That needs power. So you here, Jackson? Yeah. This connection here. What? I just fell apart. Oh, it's meant to be hooked up to the wire. See this one here? that shuts the fuel off to the motor when you um, right. when you turn the key. A little connection broken there, so it right. could have been just stopping the fuel completely. And it was just by chance that I found a clogged filter. Owing our lives to Wilson, we bundled Lukey Boy onto Finding Avalon and raced in the direction of Shelter Bay, with a shadow of hope that we might reach it before sundown. Very exciting things. We've got our fenders, which are actually quite nice. They aren't tire old tires as we'd expected. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our four lines, which we were warned maybe of hand shredding quality, but 
feel all right to me. And then finally, the most exciting item is our port potty. Oh, hello, friend. Which is for the advisor only. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. He's not allowed to use our toilet. It explicitly says in there for advisor use only. Abby and Roe from Sailing Inspire came to see us off. They're a Kiwi couple doing the exact same thing as us but just on a much fancier boat. Hopefully you'll see more of them on our channel in the South Pacific but meanwhile you should definitely check out theirs, link below. So we are anchored outside Shelter Bay Marina now waiting to go through the canal and I thought I should explain to you how we're doing this because we have been all go, 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 go and haven't actually really given you a chance to have a window into um, how we're actually transiting the canal. So we have actually chosen to use an agent. We thought that it was $300 well spent. We don't have a lot of time um, to for stuff ups really. We, we've, we've got a schedule, we need to be in the Galapagos um, in a couple of weeks to meet up with my friends Alexa and Freya. The main reason actually is safety as well. It's um, we paid our agent the full amount and we could do it over card. Apparently when you go through the canal by yourself with no agent, there's only really one place where you go to get the money out and um, we didn't really want to stuff around with that really. <laughs> it doesn't sound very savoury. So um, yeah, we're, we're really happy with our choice. So we're waiting here for our advisor to come on board and um, he basically, as the name suggests, advises you what to do in terms of you know how Jackson needs to steer the boat or um, pull on the throttle and um, also for, for us handling the lines as well. Um, and then he won't do any of it for you, he just advises you and it's up to you really how you play it. So. Um, Yes, yeah, so we've got the four of us handling the lines, myself, Georgia, Mitch and Luke, and then Jackson's going to be at the wheel, at the helm, sorry. We were given two advisors that day, which apparently is not the norm. We got Carlos, and then a bonus advisor, Felipe, who was training to be a pilot for the larger vessels, so had to make up some hours on the smaller vessels first. That's Rambler, the boat we're going to be nested up with through the canal. We let them pass in front of us, of course. The operation is very easy, so don't get nervous. I don't want anybody to get nervous. This is a very easy operation. Okay? So I, I would like to have everybody smile. <laughs> Since the uh, 1500s, they wanted to do I mean, the, the Spaniards did not conquer Latin America now, yeah. So they realized one of the guys got lost through Panama, actually, and through the mountains he got to uh, the, he's, he actually saw the Pacific Ocean, and he realized that there was a 
very short distance between the two oceans through this piece of land. And it's in the 1500s they started doing, you know, doing some research and whatnot. But it was actually until the 1800s that the French actually decided to do the canal. So the same guy that tried to, that did the Suez Canal tried to build this one, but he failed because he didn't think about the locks. So uh, roughly 30,000 Frenchmen died here, and that's when the Americans took over. Things were going pretty smoothly. I nailed the dreaded bowline. We entered the third and final look for the day, and then Rambler the other yacht crashed into the wall. You can't see anything here, but you sure can hear the cries. Become best mates with our advisors and didn't really want them to leave. At night, you will hear the, the, the howling monkeys. Oh, yeah, we love them. Yeah, yeah. Do an impression of the howling monkeys. Oh! <laughs> yeah, and not me, really. I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm, not good. I'm not very good at um, yeah. doing uh, animal sounds. You know, the, no. Maybe you need to practice. Do you uh, want to do it together? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll join in. Right, after three. One. You're gonna help. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Very good. They have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, no, 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 you no, can no, watch, no. You can watch it later on oh. repeat for your daughter. No, it's gonna no. go viral. <laughs> Every time you think, oh, I don't want to go to work today, you'll be yeah. like, oh no, that's a, I do, it. that's right. And then every time anyone books the transit through the canal, they'll say, oh, can I have the advice that that's a really good howler impression? Uh, no, not really, not really. <laughs> we anchored for the night in a man-made lake, also Panama's drinking water supply, hence the mandatory porta potty then up and at them early the next day to complete the transit. So we had a pretty chill morning. This morning we got up and had some brekkie. Thank you, George. Not a problem. Thank you very much, George. And at about eight o'clock this morning, we got our two new advisors, Marty and Carlos. Carlos. And now we've started making our way through Gatun Lake. And we've got it's a 25 mile, oh sorry, 28 mile passage. Um, 
has a lot to say about um, the roles of men and women on the boat and it caused a bit of a, a, a bit of a squabble between well pretty much everyone um, and he was saying how um, you know me and Georgia were doing too much work and all the boys should be doing the work and um, oh that is a red hot debate <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then the boat on the other side of the, of the guys that we were rafted up to yesterday. Uh, a bit of a misunderstanding yesterday actually. Um, one of the guys, um, one of the line handlers on land let go of one of the lines, which caused them to swing into the wall. Um, and they, 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 aren't, they aren't aware of that. They don't know what happened. They think that we just um, stuffed it up. So, um, I don't know, we'll try and make friends with them at the end of this, but um, as far as I believe, I think they think that we, we're the cause of them running into the school. So, um, yeah, it's, re it's really heated here today. Um, but it, this is so cool, we're having a lot of fun. Um, and we can't wait to see our home ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It's a really great feeling to know that it's just a few blocks away. So I've just been told that that target sign over there is um, where the line handlers practice their monkey fists for um, accuracy of aim and height, uh, which is kind of cool. It well, you're, explains you're how they get it right every time. You're a wind support. Coming guys, lovely to have the welcoming party. Love you guys and your support. We lost without you. Zone two, transit Pacific Atlantic. There she is, Pacific Ocean. The closest we've been to home in nine months. Good luck! Bye! Hey, hey, hey. God, these, those ships come as fast as they go, don't they? A final goodbye to our advisors, and we were free. Free to take on the Pacific Ocean. Where we go from here is up to us and the wind. <laughs>